a beautiful way to extend some things. Your grandma likely didn't pass down this recipe. Did you ever think tofu and crab would be right next to each other? No. Chef John Shields, the owner of Gertrude's Chesapeake Kitchen, brought his grandmother's ideas to his North Baltimore restaurant in the late 90s. But now he's filling out his crab cakes with something his family and the rest of us may never expect, organic tofu. I'm always trying to imagine a Chesapeake Kitchen for the 21st century. What would it look like, you know, given all the different environmental factors, economic factors around, you know, this, this um, watershed? You know, the crab cake's really gonna have to be a special occasion thing because of how much money it is for the crab meat. I thought, well, how could we stretch that? With the high price of crabs this year, locally and the international market, his imagination took him right to what he calls a similar mouthfeel. So that as you're eating it, you're getting kind of a mouth feel of, of that same texture. So Shields okay, allows us to get close to his creation. Sure. It's not to foolery. He's up front calling them crab fulicious cakes on his specials menu, and they're much cheaper than the traditional Gertie's crab cake. I take the tofu and I kind of push on it and try to get some of the moisture out. While one pound of tofu sets out next to one pound of lump Maryland crab meat, it batters up. We've got a couple eggs in here, some mayonnaise. Dijon mustard. A Worcestershire sauce. Parsley, Old Bay, Tabasco, a dash of Tabasco, Tabasco sauce. Two, three, four. And black pepper. I'm gonna take some of the tofu and just break it into little lumps. Right um, on top of the crab meat um, that he gently broke apart, there. he mixes in saltines to pick up some of the moisture. Tofu doesn't have very much taste of its own. So the only taste that it's gonna pick up is the actual flavor of the crab and of the batter. That's really all that it can do. So we're just gonna take this batter and put that all over top here. And then they get formed into what's familiar. With some oil in the pan, the moment has come. I taste a little tofu. I think I know the texture enough. I think the only reason you and I know is because we watched us make it. Yeah, yeah. But if we put this, somebody put this in front of us and we didn't, I would never, ever, ever know. As crab prices continue to run high, Chef John Shields says mushrooms could be used as a similar mouthfeel as tofu. Lindy Seafood on the Eastern Shore tells us prices are up about 20% over last year. And we reached out to other restaurants, the owners of True Chesapeake Oyster Company, which has one location in Arlington and two in Baltimore, decided to remove jumbo lump from their menus in response to crab pricing and availability, but no tofu for them. I'm hoping that people at home will try this so that they can bring the price of their crab cakes down and that they're able to make them. After all, tofu goes with seafood, so why not try it in a crab cake? For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.